should be equal in the gaseous phase. Sir, is Uniform. it is it true also for the serum? Like you are talking about the blood. Will it be valid for serum if I extract the serum? In the serum, in the serum, what is your target? Wet or less wet? You can. So if we do not from any matrix, okay. So you can. Okay, from water. So that also can be. But if we are programming go to the temperature for ethanol, not for water. Water boiling point is 100. Ethanol boiling point is 70. No, less than that. Not even 70. Only the ethanol will be evaporated. Vapors of ethanol are collected, not water. Okay, water should not go into your GC. That case, what happens? The head space. The space means the position at the head position. Means neck position of the bottle. The needle goes, penetrates, it absorbs some vapors, maybe one mile, one mile or two mile. That vapor goes into your GCC. That's called head space. Here, analytes are not soluble form. Okay, it, it should be converted into the vapor form, gaseous form, due to certain pressure. The vapors should be absorbed. Absor by the syringe and transfer the okay. So these two technologies we have and we have one more uh, technology called SPME, solid phase micro extract. So that's a different technology. I will show when we are performing the SPME. Okay. So now come to the hardware law. So this is our figure, right? Anyway, we are just going to change the module. We are not going to do any changes over here during operation. So here what do we have to do here? So this is your GC system. In the GC you can see here on top there are four provisions. One, two for sample inlet, another two for two for sample inlet, another two for detector, like FID or maybe you can uh, install any other detector, FID, ECD, MPD, FPD, whatever. This is for without MS. When you have MS, the transfer line, the GC column connected, to, see here you can see the thread. It's a capillary column, so that capillary column should be connected to the sample inlet where sample is injecting. Okay, the other end of the column is connected to your transfer line, where it goes to your mass performance MS. So this may be slightly vary from uh, the specification to specification. How it is configured? So you have a uh, septa is placed, so the needle is forced directly through this hole to directly penetrate into and uh, your plunger, the uh, plunger of your needle. So it directly goes into liner and it dispenses out the sample. Okay, so that sample and this septa is completely sealed. That sample, because since it is maintaining the high temperature 200 to 200 degrees Celsius, the moment it enters into this liner, the sample gets vaporized. So then the bottom here, your so your column is connected here, similar to that. Okay. So your vapors have no chance to escape anywhere. It should directly goes to your column with the help of your carrier box. Okay. So this is how the column is connected and uh, your liner. Now this is the PTV program temperature regulator. But SSL design is quite different. We don't have SSL in this facility. So probably if it is available in this, we will just see later. Okay. And then we have one more FID, flame ionization detector. So that working principle I'll discuss tomorrow, whatever, uh, whatever we are working with the hardware. And uh, MS part, yes. See here, the column, it is exactly uh, it's, uh, connected to your MS source with the specific line. You have a transfer line. Uh, we have a transfer line. Okay. See, this, you can see the mark, exactly the same replica we have column goes within this and end up the arrow mark. So this reaches to your ionization source. So if it is less distance, so vapors will not reach to your ionization source. If it is excess, it will damage your source. So that is the reason the connected column installation is very specific and you should be careful in it. It is a skill based job. Okay, a layman job is not. Right? So you can't do however you wish. There is a specific format of sample instrument and so how to change the column, how to change the uh, syringe liner, and what time you have to do, what is your manual use and our maintenance, and column conditioning, whether the column is perfect to my study or not, everything you have to monitor day to day basis. So that's what the perfect analyst job. So now, once the analysts are separating the whole column, go into your MS, 
in the early sterilization happens again whatever we discussed in the theoretical part sterilization after fragmentation when mass filtration in the product to which you have detected so i try to so show you this if i permit and this lid can be open because i don't have a proper tool uh, tomorrow i'll just try to open and show you on top you can see how the hardware is placed in the back end system configuration means requirement of your application so you wanted to analyze in form of sample or sorry liquid sample which is dissolved so you have to analyze the sample which is not dissolvable like blood ethanol blood alcohol these are alcohol and some of the sample like the uh, plant body like uh, phyto extracts like uh, what do you say fragrance of your flowers so you can't extract it so directly you can take the flowers into the uh, uh, vial head space vial so you can keep it for a incubation during incubation you have a spme spme fiber in that fiber it has got some uh, stationary phase similar to your chemi column chemistry that absorbs all your analytes and then transfer it to here absorb absorption then desorption okay so that's a different technology spme and fid i'll just discuss uh, during your uh, practical demonstration